Good afternoon, everybody. Um, tomorrow at 12 o'clock, the President of the 75th Session of the General Assembly, His Excellency Mr. Volkan Bozkir, will give a final press conference in the press briefing room. It is a hybrid event, much like today, so people will be able to join remotely or please come in person if you're available. The President will make brief opening remarks and then take questions. If you plan on asking a question, please feel free to signal that to me beforehand because I'll be moderating the event and that will help me organize all the questions. Thanks. Um, so this morning the President spoke at the General Assembly high-level plenary meeting to commemorate and promote the International Day Against Nuclear Tests. Since nuclear weapons testing began on the 16th of July 1945, over 2,000 have taken place. The President said, these tests have long-lasting health and environmental consequences. They devastate the communities they impact. They displace families from their homeland. The President welcomed the progress that have been made, has been achieved sorry, towards nuclear disarmament in the past year and urged for postponed meetings to be rearranged. In the context of this high-level meeting, the President also met with Dr. Rob Floyd, who is the Executive Secretary of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization. The President thanked Dr. Floyd for his efforts towards eliminating nuclear threats. And finally, I'm happy to announce my successor will be Monica Vieira Grayley, who will take over as the spokesperson to the next PGA on the 14th of September. Many of you will remember Monica as the spokesperson from the 73rd session of, of the General Assembly to Miss Maria Fernanda Espinosa. Monica will join the Office of the President of the General Assembly from the Department of Global Communications and has served as served the United Nations as Chief of UN News Portuguese, Director of the UN Nations, United Nations Information Center in Mexico, among other posts. Prior to joining the United Nations, Monica worked at the BBC World Service in London as a multimedia journalist and editor. In the 1990s, she served as a producer at Deutsche Wall in Germany. Monica started her career as a radio talk show hostess in Brazil, where she also worked for TV and press. She is fluent in Spanish, German, Portuguese, and English, and utilizes French as a working language in the UN. Thank you. Hi, Philippe. Thank you, Amy. Uh, can you confirm that there is a summit on the climate on the 20 and a, a summit on the food on the 23rd? I will double check those dates, but I believe they are correct, yes, and I'll, I'll let you know. Those, are, yeah. those events are being organized by the Secretariat rather than OPGA. And are they virtual or it's uh, I believe physical? they are virtual, yes. Virtual? Yeah. Hi, Edie. Hi, Amy. Um, can you give us any indication of what the PGA is hearing about who, uh, what leaders, how many leaders are going to be coming to the high level week? So the last speaker's list from the general debate indicated whether the videos were going to be sent as pre-recorded statements or not. I believe there's another list which is going to be coming out soon which should be an updated version of that list. When is soon? Uh, I was expecting it this week. Hi Pam. <laughs> The craziness begins. Um, it just in terms of what Edie just asked, meaning the next list will say whose videos, so we can deduce that those aren't video or in person. So the previous Is list indicated whether it was going to be a pre-recorded yeah. statement or not, so I would expect the ne next list would do the same thing. Got it. Yeah. Okay. But I haven't seen it yet. And um, it just in terms of, uh, uh, if I may, policy on vaccinations, mm -hmm. Um, there were a few rounds of talks, including one that said that there was, um, that the SG's office would require vaccinations of some and, and showing of tests. And I assume that meant staff. And so, like a foreign minister who comes in, there won't be anything the UN does to ask for vaccination or tests. It'll be up to New York State or, or New York City, correct? So as far as I'm aware, everyone coming into the UN building is subject to the same regulations which have been set out in the, in the letters that we previously discussed, um, which is an honor system. I don't know if the okay. SG's office require extra steps. I think that question is probably better directed at Stefan. But, but in terms of um, speakers at the UN, 
It's an honor system. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Is there an honor system in politics? That question. <laughs>